Hey Clayburn. Last week we built this Space Pirate vignette, and since we had it, I thought I'd use it to show how to make instructions, since that's another part of working in BrickLink Studio that seems to be particularly difficult. I especially like working with this model because since we were doing it at the same time, the pieces are a little scattered and not as organized as they might usually be when I'm working in BrickLink Studio. Before I do that though, I did want to show you a cool trick that you can do that relates to your last video. Make submodels. Submodels allow you to treat a collection of pieces as a single piece, and I'm going to use it for minifigs. To do it, you just select a group of pieces that are a model, then go to Model and select Create Submodel. You can name it whatever you want, and after you do that, it'll appear in your parts list as a single part. If you want to edit it, you go back to Model and then select Edit Submodel. Now that I have the submodel, I'm going to go ahead and try to break it down into steps. This is the hard part. I'd love to hear from anyone with more experience. For me, it's basically thinking about how I might actually put the set together and then dragging the pieces around into steps that sort of match that. So in this case, it'd go pants, torso, head, and then helmet because it's a minifig. I do use the blue boxes around the pieces a lot to help me know what I'm grouping together, but ultimately it's a lot of clicking and dragging, not like Lego's version, which automates a lot of the process. I like the amount of granular control this gives because it could make it to where you make each step its own piece, which would make building it really easy, but man is it tedious. I had to make up a bunch of things to say while I was doing it here on camera because it took so long, and I still had to cut some footage out. Anyway, once you're done organizing the submodel, you have to make sure you don't have any pieces selected. Then you can click Return to Main Model to get back to the model, where submodel is just one piece again. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the monkey, but I'll spare you the details this time. The monkey could probably be three steps, but for this video, I think it'll only be one. Then it's time to place the submodels into the larger model. As you can probably guess, breaking down everything into submodels makes building a lot easier in BrickLink Studio. With the larger vignette, step two is way at the bottom, so when there's lots of pieces to sort through, it's easier to mess up. You accidentally drop pieces in the wrong step or add random extra steps. But other than that, the process is mostly the same. Select a bunch of pieces that don't belong in the current step, move them into the next step, and repeat. I'm going to go ahead and start with the base plate. I like to try to group my pieces in the same way that Lego might, so I'll group all the slopes and stuff, and then the more standard bricks. I like all the cheese slopes together, and then the flag pieces. And finally, the minifigs go last, just like in a Lego instruction book. Now that we have all the steps laid out, we can generate instructions. This is a new tool in BrickLink Studio, and I really like it. I hope they'll fix it soon so it's usable, though. It doesn't make the cool movies like Lego Digital Designer does, nor does it create the HTML plugin that I really like. But ultimately, this is a pretty good quality result. Here's how our Space Pirate vignette turned out. And for our submodels, it inserts each individual step as a part of the larger instructions rather than as a single piece. This makes the submodels really useful. I would have liked to see them group the steps for the submodels a little differently though, maybe in the next update. Well, Claiborne. I know that doing instructions has been a challenge, and I hope that, while this doesn't really make it easier, it does give some insight into my workflow. I'll see you soon. Over and out.